Hi, it's Murray from Ingenuity Music and we're doing some setups on instruments and some basic maintenance concepts and habits to get into on the instruments that might just lead you in before the start of the year or during the year as a reference point. We're looking at the alto sax at the moment but generally any saxophone will follow the same guidelines. Um, the first thing we've done in the last video we removed the travel corks, this time we're going to actually get the instrument up and ready to play. I always believe the first thing to do when you put the instrument down on a nice firm surface, don't try and open it without putting the, the case down, it's too heavy and the instrument will fall. Uh, first thing to do is get the neck strap out and put it around your neck. That's what it's called for, it's really good. When you get the instrument out, many people will just grab it here. This is how you bend rods and how you get problems with it. An easy way to do it is slip your hand into the bell and lift it up like so. You're not touching anything and it means that the instrument is in your control and the first thing you do is plug it in. That way that is totally safe. So most of the instruments will come with a neck or collar protector which is a good thing to use it to leave it in because it does protect that screw and it does protect that area up there. We have it there. We also have the neck. The neck just goes straight in the top and you'll notice here Try hard not to pull on here, but work on there. If that becomes a little bit tight, a little bit of cork grease is a good idea. And uh, just loosen that. It only needs to be tightened to the point where it's not moving around. Don't over tighten it because it will break and when they break they have to be drilled out. If you do have a problem with that, bring it in and we'll have a look at it. The cork at the top, when you first get the instrument, the cork will be very dry and stiff. You need to use some cork grease on it, just a little bit. Uh, gradually you'll find that it will become moist with the cork grease and you don't need to do it every time, just whenever it gets sticky. Take the mouthpiece and the mouthpiece should screw on around about three quarters of the way onto it. Now you're ready to go. So you can start playing, do what you need to do. Great. When you're finished, the first thing to do is to take the mouthpiece cover, put it on the mouthpiece. Remember, this is the part that goes into your mouth, so it is important that it's kept clean. On a regular basis, wash your mouthpiece out with warm soapy water. Not too hot, but just warm soapy water, just the mouthpiece. And you'll find lots of gunk because a lot of stuff comes off the reed and will sit in there. You'll notice a good guideline, it will start to smell. If you open the case and you can smell the mouthpiece, time to wash it. Remember, dent oral hygiene is very important. So it's covered, it's put away, that's in the case. Then you just loosen that off. Don't force it because it will bend the octave key, just gently. Right? And you can just drop it out, go there. Now with a pull through, if you've got a pull through, the pull through goes in from the bell end and drops out and you pull it through. Don't go in from that end because it will get caught and you're trying to pull the moisture out of the pads. Um, I'm not a great fan of pad savers, but if you've got one, put it in. Pad savers, to me, tend to defeat the purpose of taking the moisture out of the pads. Put the collar back in if you need to. Gently tighten it up. Again, just hold it in the bell. Detach yourself. Put the instrument in the case. The last thing that goes in is the next strap. And uh, many times I've wandered around with an neck strap on wondering why, but it's the last thing that goes in and it's the first thing that comes out. So anything that we do on that, the case should then just close. If the case doesn't close properly, there's a problem. So stop, have a look, make sure things are in the right spot. Never try and force it. Make sure the case is securely closed and away you go. A good idea just to finish with is to give it a wipe with a cloth, a polishing cloth as well, just to remove any residue from your fingers etc. We'll try again. The next one we'll do is the setting up of reeds. We'll come to that in a moment.